is up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy to seem the dream it is that time of the week once again ladies and gentlemen for singles of the week this is a segment where i like to break down the newest tracks that have dropped this weekend i'm gonna give you my thoughts and i'm gonna give you an official rating so be sure to check them out for yourselves they are all linked in the description down below let's get right into these new singles all right we're gonna go around with becky g with quiero abuelo blessing us again with her roots of a mexicana heritage uh channeling her inner selena which i already know people are gonna get triggered by saying that but if I'm going to be honest, she is the modern day Selena. I mean, she really does bring it out. She's clearly influenced from Selena. She really does bring that X factor to the song for sure. Great region on the kind of music all in all. Really, really good stuff. This is a fire track. Then we got Chris Lake and Alina with the track More Baby. Some rumbly bass and house fused into one accompanied with some euphoric vocal processors that make this a summer sensation. This is a decent end of the summer kind of track. Uh, unfortunately... It doesn't really stand out to me in terms of house music. It'll keep the party going, but I really don't see anybody asking for the name of the song to the DJ. And I definitely want to ask for it to be on. Then we got Nora and Pierre with the track Who You Are. And Nora just knows continuously how to put me in my feels. She, I guess that's what makes her the queen of Deep House. And this is yet another quality track from Nora. I think the key sounds super defined and rich on here. The atmospheres are, have this like creamy texture to it that is just so interesting and captivating. Still coming in together as a very refreshing house track. It's a goodie. Next, we're going to continue on with Young Nudie with Peaches and Eggplants featuring Lotto and Sexy Red. I think this may have been a freestyle, um, which in that case, it is, it's not bad. But if it ain't a freestyle, then this is absolutely doo-doo. This is just flat out boring as hell. These lines from these rappers are just super limp and dry. Really is no chemistry between these rappers at all on the track. Just this sound really weird. Like, sound, it sounds like someone is putting just like a random YouTube beat in the background and they're just rapping for fun. It sucks. I don't like it. And then we got While She Sleeps with the track Self Hell. This song is absolutely ass. The, the screaming in the pre-chorus is absolutely horrendous. The, the band has totally lost it. Maybe they never even had it. All right, then we got Big Thief with the track Born for Loving You. I think Adrian's performance comes off as earnest, including the guitar work itself. This is pretty good writing and sound production, but I can't help to not gravitate towards it because it doesn't really necessarily venture away from the folk structures of pop songs, which has always been their thing. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but I don't know what this track it sounds just a little bit too uniform too easily recognizable um it is really neat it is really gentle and of course that's what i love about the band but something really needed to stand out in the song to really have it spark and be bold in their discog then we got rod wave with the track turks and Kekos featuring 21 savage so that first melodic from rod was was rough it was really really rough it did not appeal to me at all very very rough start the ver first verse did not really pick things up after this unfortunately 21 didn't really save this from the downfall either much better hearing him on this track for sure uh yeah but i wasn't really a big fan of the song at all sorry Rob. And then we got bella porch and love with the track crush dude this song is it sucks no <laughs> you thought no it sucks this it fuck you this this sucks you guys don't appreciate me enough i, I go out of my way to find the tracks that you're good for you, but I also find the ones that you probably shouldn't play. And this is the one, you're welcome. <laughs> Fuck this song. Now Denzel Curry is coming out with a track Skeed featuring Kenny Mason. Denzel had dropped a heater with Kenny. Man, this was super wavy. This beat was just made for him, clearly. And I think he was just gliding through this track, honestly. It, this felt like bread and butter to him. You can really feel the bass just grinding in your jaw. This shit is just so wavy. This one is super raw. Then we got City Morgue with the track Funny. The subs are muddy as hell. It feels like it's constantly smearing into the mix. The whole thing felt muffled at a point. Productively, it's just a mess. This is just not a good one from City Morgan. I'm not liking it. Then we got Sega Bodega and Safety Trance with the track Arena. Overall, not bad. Uh, sound design choices that felt engrossing. It needs to be a bit more creative with that ghostly distant vocal choice. Uh, I like the style, just over the use formula with them. Best thing about this is the layering. It's cool to see how they both automate in different directions with the pads and synth leads. I thought it was pretty interesting to really take a look at. Uh, it's a yellow. And then we got this big superstar track from Drake featuring SZA called Slime You Out. So I'm gonna be real. I was expecting a little bit more. I think the hype really got to me. I, I heard really, really good things, only good things really from this track. Uh, but uh, I feel like it could have been definitely some biasy, but I mostly heard good things. And uh, you know, all in all, it is a good track, but 
there was this first drum sweep sequence in here that just didn't really come into play it just felt very plain and off beat and offset i really did not like the style in there uh it was a very very small part on the track that i didn't like everything else sounded really really good SZA really did shine on this brilliant performance from her as usual and drake even closed out with this with balance too i don't think it's a bad song at all i think it's actually decent i think it's pretty good as y'all say uh i don't think it's as good as you guys think but um it's good then we're gonna move on to brent fires with the track where you at i love the richness on this one it's very euphoric i love the romantic elements encompassing the song you could definitely add this to your um your love making playlist you know what i mean <laughs> it definitely sets the mood for that brent's the way brent is singing on here it'll definitely definitely set the mood it's good and then shakira is out with fuerza regida on the track el jefe uh jumping up on the wave with some banda regional uh i mean with the shakira track i have higher expectations uh vocally she wasn't trying to be so exotic just be over the top which i respect uh especially because you have a feature on here uh vocally it's just so one-dimensional to me still and way more than i hoped and instrumentally it is very stiff I, there really is no excusing for that it doesn't really make you feel loose at all and i don't know i feel like the the songwriting was very plain and then martin garrix come out with a track real love reaching leo iso uh, my boy came out from the shadows with the bot my guy it's been a minute since i heard some martin garrix and this is actually really really good he also had a really good performance on his behalf i thought he was actually very suited to the instrumental i was afraid that i wouldn't really wouldn't care for this martin garrix track because lately i haven't been but i don't know maybe it's because i haven't really heard martin garrix in a while so it was really pleasant to see him back uh, but yeah, I thought this was honestly a really good one. I could see this getting on his top five chart for Spotify, so we'll see. And then Bleachers is out with the track Modern Girl. Uh, when has this man ever disappointed? When has when is Jack have ever disappointed? The dude is a freaking phenom. Like he is freaking going ham with these trumpets. Delicious chorus, lots of breathing room to build anticipation. The melodics really stand out on the outro. It's just a smash pop hit. You should love it because I do. And then 070 Shake is out with the track Black Dress, finally dropping the full track. She's been constantly teasing at her sets, which to be honest, I didn't even realize that it wasn't even fully out in the first place. I feel like I've been hearing the song live in a, for a minute. Uh, but now that this thing is out in full, I actually really like the full finish. It really does stand out. It has like a retro feel to it, almost like it's like a, a modern cut into like for the warriors movie almost i mean she really does essentially give out that vibe in general but yeah the track is really smooth it's some really tight and r&b on point from most seminal shake it's fire and then blink 182 is out with the track one more time and i guess this can somewhat be seen as a callback to i miss you it still shakes up a little bit more differently mostly with the vocal roles a little bit more evenly divided these moments were the ones i was kind of shocked that i liked because um, I'm usually not really that much of a Blink fan. I never really cared for the band too much. They never really drew my interest. But uh, imagine like when hearing this song, it definitely sounds like something that you would hear in a breakup scene for a teen flick. I could totally see that for sure. But in that way, it's actually good. Like it, it does sound sad instrumentally. It, it is very interesting. I, I really did think that in terms of melancholy and just like that romantic sadness, it really does set the tone well vocally it's just I, I can't really get into mark hoppus i i never really have i'm a tom delonge guy if anything if i'm in the listening to blank mark hoppus just really isn't it for me uh hot take but yeah eh. and we're gonna be closing out this week's singles of the week with a track that i chose to react to gene dawson and scissors no seasons be sure to go check out the reaction to get my full breakdown and thoughts on the track but without a doubt you guys know it's here at the end of the video for the reason because it is the song of the week. And that is it for this week's singles of the week, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go on and like, share, and comment down below of what you thought of these tracks. Do not forget to check them out for yourselves. They are all linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.